Welcome back. We have our pre-cooked shrimp. I didn't use that anymore, so we're gonna just go ahead with the cabbage, the pineapple, the onions, and a cucumber, sweet pepper that has grown in my garden, and one lime. Click the bell for new videos. I did not use the watercress, but everything else. So let's go through the ingredients. We have the pineapple, and uh, then I'm using some onions. As you can see, they are all finely chopped. My cabbage. And we have cucumbers. Sweet peppers. Olives. My pre-cooked sh grilled shrimp. I did not use the wishbone, but I did use the craft because of the sweet undertone. <laughs> Once everything is chopped to your desired thickness, we are going to place it on a plate. And then I'm going to add some lime juice or lemon juice. I use lime and as I mentioned, I use this craft because of that beautiful sweet undertone and that slight saltiness. I love it. And then I'm going to use some dates. I'm going to chop them up finely. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over the salad. This is optional, but if you want to add a little extra bite and sweetness, it really adds a lot to this salad. Thank you for watching this quick demo. Let me just mention, you can add watercress to this. I choose was to omit the watercress for my own personal reasons. I didn't add, I, I just didn't feel for it anymore in the salad. So that is why I omit it from the salad. But you can add it, okay? I always test my recipes before I actually put out a video and make a new video. And when I tested, I didn't like the texture of it in this salad so that is why i omitted when i made this video all right so thank you all so much for watching